Hi there, my name is Rufus Deutschler, Design Evangelist at Adobe Systems. If you want to be on the fast track with Adobe Photoshop CS5, you need to know about Adobe Repousse. This is how it works. What I've done here is create a text layer with the word shape. I've also col colored it in a light shade of gray, and you will see why I did that in a second. Basically, all I need to do is to select the layer in the Layers panel and under the 3D menu, I can now choose Repousse. And the only option that is available to me right now is from a text layer. But as you can see, I can do the same thing from a layer mask, a selected path or even a selection. So you can create 3D objects with any of those, um, of those objects here. In this case, it's a text layer. So let's click on text layer. Photoshop alerts me that I will actually be rasterizing that text layer. So if you want to keep the text layer, it's a good idea to make a copy of it before you go into Repousse, because once you're in Repousse, this text layer will be rasterized. So we will say yes to this and Photoshop does its magic and we already have a 3D object here. With the 3D movement tools here, I can now rotate that object and you can see on screen that this is, in effect, a 3D object. Then we have a whole bunch of repoussé shape presets that we can choose from, from bevels that we want on the, um, on the front of the object, all the way to interesting bends and twists of objects. So if I choose this, uh, this bending option here, for example, we will see that the object now is bent over a, um, uh, a virtual center here and we have this sort of shape happening. All right. So think of Adobe Repousse also as a way of sculpting shapes in Photoshop without having to go into a 3D modeling application. All right. And this can be very, very useful to create very compelling 2D art. Let's look at the other options here inside of Repousse. One thing that's interesting is that we have access to a whole bunch of materials inside of Photoshop CS5. So for example, if I want to change the material of the front of these letters, I can simply click on the menu here and we see that we have checkered material here and uh, uh, what is this called over here? Let's see, wood, ash, okay, and this is stone marble. Okay, let's say that I want this in marble. So I click on that on that uh, texture here, on that material, and this is now applied to my 3D shape that I have created out of a, uh, a text layer. Okay, then I can also uh, change the extrusion of that object. I can twist it if I need to. Twisting it will, uh, will create shapes such as this one. Let's actually select that so you can see what I mean. Okay, I've twisted the word so that it twists in a 3D space. Let me also move it around a second so you can see what sort of result I can get. And I can also share it and bend it. I can inflate the front, the back. I can change the lights and a whole bunch of things. Um, this is really a, a one of those things that I invite you to uh, study very carefully because these 3D actions that you can perform on any object in Photoshop CS5 can come in very, very handy. So let's say OK to this and go back to our uh, Photoshop document here. All right, so here was our original text and now we have this 3D shape. Another interesting thing is that of course, I can render that shape now. So if we move over to the 3D workspace, what I can do here is change the quality interactive. Um, the interactive quality is actually for working on shapes very quickly. So we, I have a quick idea of how the shape will look in 3D. Let's actually move it, uh, move it uh, over to this side a little bit. OK. And I'm also going to uh, slide the object slightly. Okay, something like that. And then I'm going to change the quality to ray traced. Yes, because in Photoshop CS5, we now have a ray tracing engine, which will give us a very good rendering of that object. So let's select this. And as I've selected this, we will see the ray tracing engine to start working on that 3D object, casting shadows and everything uh, that is needed to actually uh, create that 3D shape 
in a convincing way. Okay. So as you can see, I've taken the text and the rendering is continuing here. If you want to stop the rendering for a second, you'd, all you need to do is to press the space bar and you can continue working on it. But basically, I just wanted to show you how you have the necessary tools in Photoshop CS5 extended to actually create 3D shapes and very compelling effects on type, on shapes, on selections that you have created in Adobe Photoshop. So, ready, set and go create with Adobe Repousse.